Hey Michael, X-Force PC. I want to talk specifically how the touch works with uh, the quad screen package, d dual screen package, or whatever package you're getting that has the touch screen and air manager. So we're not a reseller, first of all, of Air Manager, but we will preload Air Manager, and then the first time you run it, it'll prompt you to purchase it. And at the time of this video, it's around $80 or so. Um, it depends because it's sold in euros, and it depends on the uh, exchange rate is the exact to the exact price, but it's somewhere in that range, around $80. Now, um, specifically how the touch works, um, if you have everything set up correctly, you know, you, you, you push the, the button here and hold, and then you just spin your finger around. And so um, it makes it pretty easy to turn knobs. And so I'll zoom in on that so you can kind of see. But again, I just touch and hold, and then when the box comes up, I just start twirling my finger around and just keep turning the knob until I'm done, and then stop. So it really works quite well. Um, it also works on, that's how you do knobs, it also works on buttons. So down here, it may be a little obscured by the yoke, but um, I have the avionics uh, on and off, the alternator, the battery. I just touch them and they turn off and on, the pedo heat off and on. You just touch them and they turn off and on. So um, they work quite well. Um, and then all the, all the buttons work like that, just touch and hold, and then I can spin the heading bug here left and right and uh, moves quite nicely. Um, so that's how the touch functionality works. Now one thing I'll mention to you too is Air Manager comes with, this is the free Cessna 172 panel that's pre-made. It's, a, it's a, again a free panel, works quite well. Basically it's steam gauges, but they do have a premium panel that costs, don't quote me exactly on this, is around 10 or $15. It's not expensive totally worth it if you're going to fly the Cessna 172. And so um, if I close this panel, clo I'm going to open up the premium panel that you can buy. And this was designed by, I think, probably a customer. And um, this is the premium panel. So what you're getting here is everything's just a little bit smaller, but quite large enough to read, about the same size as it would be in the cockpit if you had the cockpit up top here. But you also have the radio stack over here. And so if I want to change the frequency, um, I just touch in the middle if I want to change the little numbers. And why don't I zoom in on that a little bit. And then touch sort of towards the outer edge if I want to change the big numbers. So I'm changing the big number, touch in the middle, I'm changing the little number. The active standby button, I just touch that and that works just fine. Um, really any of these uh, these things work uh, quite nicely. Yeah. Um, all these buttons work. Switches. Um, so this is a nicer panel because what they do is sort of shrink the steam gauges up in the corner just a little bit and what they give you is your radio stack over here and um, down here you've got your throttle that you can you know see visually. Oh, you can't. I got to zoom out. But down here you can see your throttle and your mixture, uh, rather than you know kind of guessing as to where they're at. You can look down here and actually see that. Um, you could replicate this yourself if you wanted to take the time to shrink all the instruments, put them up in the corner, and then add the radios over here and size those. It's probably you know take you an hour or so to do all that. And it's, it's perfectly easy to do, just a little time consuming. For most people, it's worth the 10 bucks to pay the 10 bucks and get, or maybe it's 15, and get this premium panel. But the knobs all work the same. You touch, hold, and then you just twirl your finger around, and it works quite nicely. They also have a premium panel for the Baron and a few other planes, and so I highly recommend if you're going to be flying a Baron to uh, get that premium panel as well. So that's specifically how the touch works with uh, Air Manager and a touch screen.